Okay. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> this is so hard, guys. A few weeks back, I was talking to my nephew, and he was actually showing me how he bought a GameCube controller that is basically a USB GameCube controller. And he told me he thought it'd be a cool idea to make a video trying to play Rocket League with this controller. So I jumped on Amazon and looked, and I actually found that controller plus some other awesome sort of retro controllers. So I decided to get the GameCube, the Nintendo 64, and this joystick. It took some work, but I got them to work for Rocket League. It took some like button remapping and a bunch of stuff in Steam that I'm not very good at. But I did get them all to work, and in this video I'm going to try to play Rocket League with these very random controllers. Hope you guys enjoy, make sure to subscribe if you like the video, and let's get into it. Alright guys, we are starting this off with the GameCube controller. So I bought this online, it's like a USB GameCube knockoff controller. Now I grew up playing GameCube a lot, like GameCube was pretty much my first console. Played a bunch of uh, Lord of the Rings on the GameCube, actually. Like Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, just cranking whatever you do in Lord of the Rings. Cranking combos, basically. But yeah, so the, the biggest problems with this controller for Rocket League, and especially for me, is that there's no, um, there's no like L1 up here. <laughs> there's just a trigger so like air roll and drift like I can't air roll and drift in Rocket League like for this for mapping at all I haven't been able to figure out how to map like boost to this so boost is just down here for me so I'm running like basically default controls and I have no air roll no air roll at all nope no drift either so yeah it is it is quite difficult quite quite difficult we're gonna play wait I think the servers are down also this is like basically uh Basically my hand reveal, right? All right, here we go. Nice, nice hands. Very, um, very soft. Not very much, not very much physical labor done there. I do have a little calluses here from doing pull-ups, but no, no big deal. Just doing pull-ups is all. I'm gonna try to make sure this is like in the screen so you guys can see it. Basically, uh, yeah, basically this sucks. <laughs> I'm going to literally be so bad. Oh, I can't drift. Hang on. Oh my gosh, I'm literally, I, I don't know, like, I might struggle against these bots, dude. Not having drift is very, very weird for me. I don't, didn't realize it, but, like, I'm hitting, like, L1 all the time because I literally drift all the time. Oh my gosh, I have to, like, turn so slow. Nope. Like, there I would have hit an, I would have hit an air roll shot, you know? Can't air roll off the wall either. If I score a flippery second goal, you guys owe me a lot of money. Yeah, another thing that's kind of weird is like the responsiveness. <laughs> the responsiveness of L2, like to reverse. Like, it's not, it's not doing it. Like I went to reverse there and just didn't. All right, nice shot, Scout. You're a boss. Also, another thing, I like, I play with my hands down here. Like I don't play with my hands way up here. What do you guys do? What do you guys do? Let us know in the chat. Are you a hands on top or a hands under kind of guy? Because I'm definitely a hands under kind of guy. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to hit L2. You know, if you're like a coming from a GameCube background or something, and you want to play Rocket League, maybe you're like, don't they play like Super Smash on GameCube? Anyways, if you're that person, you're you're gonna you're gonna struggle a little bit. Listen, if you guys haven't changed your controls from default, you've got to do that. No. Oh, he just mind gamed me. Oh my God, what's happening? Ah! Oh! Oh my God, break away! Let's go. Actually, like one of my first videos ever, guys was a, uh, a video about why you should change your controls. I think it's like my second or third video, and it, it still gets views today uh, because people are always looking for that. But seriously, switching to this sort of setup, uh, you can see it right here, totally worth it. It's, it's hard at first, feels really weird, definitely, but it's definitely worth it. No, but really, this is like a picture of why. Dude, I just got burned. I feel like a baby Rocket League player like a brand new little baby Rocket League player who doesn't know how to hit drift. 
who doesn't know how to implement air roll shots. Oh my god! Oh, I am so bad. All right, I'm gonna score here, guys. I'm gonna score. Really nice little dribble goal. Nope. <laughs> Dude, I I'm legit. Like I would, I'm legit gonna lose to these all-star bots. All right. So this is basically gonna get more and more toxic as we go on. I'm gonna actually switch. I'm gonna switch to the next controller because the whole idea of this is it's gonna get stupider and stupider as we move along. So that was the GameCube controller. Again, primary difficulties being that uh, you only have an R1 and not an L1. And then obviously me not being able to remap my controls correctly made it a little bit difficult. Oh my god, okay, so we got here the classic Nintendo controller. I believe this is a Nintendo 64, right? The fact that I'm like not a thousand percent sure on that is really sad. This is the thing you like played Goldeneye on and stuff. Like, by the way, that game, Goldeneye, everyone's like, oh, Goldeneye was such, such a great game. If you go back and play that, it is the most, it's just horrible. After playing like a modern shooter and the way it's set up for like movement and stuff, it's like playing a mobile battle royale. Like it's just so bad. But anyways, I just got this working through Steam. Uh, I've been doing this in the like Steam controller support. It's kind of hard to get set up, but I'm not really messing with my buttons too much because I'm afraid it'll mess up my like normal controller when I do finally plug my actual controller back in. But this is basically just like a Nintendo USB knockoff controller you can get this for like $12 on Amazon if you guys want to try this for some reason you're like dang I want to do that all right so I have not yet seen what what the buttons are for like actually playing but I know it's gonna be super super bad all right so it looks like turning turning is good turning is normal jump boost what's drive wait what I just accidentally almost invited bluey okay how, how do I just drive? Oh, wait, so the trigger is reverse. <laughs> Don't tell me that's drive. Oh my gosh, so this button right here, this is to change your camera settings. <laughs> Damn, this is like Rizzo controls or something. So I can only go in reverse at this point. <laughs> This is probably a bad thing. Okay, okay, so I did it. You guys couldn't see anything I was just doing there, but I've set it up so that drive forward is R here. Drive backwards is uh, this this left trigger under here. <laughs> Wait, this is hard to see. This, this button down here, uh, right here. So that's drive backwards. So drive backwards, drive forwards, jump, and boost. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Okay, let's see if the see if the servers are working yet, guys. It's like completely reteaching myself muscle memory. Why is this button? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. What what what? <laughs> okay. I literally feel like a brand new player. Okay. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> this is so hard, guys. He's like, okay. Okay, you're so good. Alright, boost. This is boost. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hit the wrong... I keep... No! Like, I was talking a little bit about switching your controllers, guys. This is what you'll have to deal with. Uh, this is what you'll feel like. Oh my gosh, get on the ground! Oh my gosh, I keep hitting the wrong button. He's like, why is this guy jumping so much? <laughs> I can't. Okay, come on, come on, baby. Let's go! Okay, this one's boost. There we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look, it's all muscle memory, you know? You give it a little bit of time, you can figure it out. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Guys, this is so hard. Oh my gosh. Gotta dribble without changing car camera, I'll get all messed up. <laughs> I like R and L drive and, and reverse right there that I don't mind what is this guy doing 
Oh my gosh, I just pre-flipped. Oh, pfft. <laughs> I thought I was hitting jump there, but I was hitting boost. So like, like I said earlier, I feel like this should be jump. And like one of these should be boost or this should be boost. But instead, this is boost and this is jump. So it feels like I'm hitting like what would be X on a controller to boost. Like it's just really weird. <laughs> oh, and again, I have no air roll, and, and I'm, you know, really seeing how valuable air rolling is. I can honestly say this is like, I feel like making me worse at Rocket League. Oh my god, here we go. <gasps> Wait, what? No, no. <laughs> oh, this is good, man. This has been super fun. Good times. Guys, we did it. We did it. Ah, okay. So here we have <laughs> this joystick. It was the cheapest joystick I could find. And it's just, it is, it is a thing of absolute beauty. It's called the Thrustmaster. I promise this is a joystick. I promise I didn't accidentally buy something else, guys. But anyways, this is going to be the most toxic thing you've ever seen in your life because yeah. Oh my god, please, I don't want to invite Bluey. How do I click on anything? Okay, just give me the free play, good god. All right, so let's see. Okay, ooh, ooh, look at that. I just went in this hit buttons randomly to pick my controls because it wasn't working right. But drive, drive is our trigger here, let's go. Weird, wait, I want to set, okay, so this little button is to switch from, uh, wait, what? Dude, this is so, so weird. Okay, so that's boost. Dude, okay, this is actually pretty dope. Okay, I need to move this microphone a little bit. There we go. And this pop filter. God, what? Dude, this is so weird. The ball cam, like I'm in ball cam, but this little thing, this little button down here, like moves it. All right, so we're pretty much just gonna be uh, driving forwards. That's pretty much it. Yeah, this is, this is actually kind of cool. <clears throat> it's not too bad. I've seen worse. I'm a little out of control, definitely. Okay, it's not very responsive, I'm realizing. Like, just driving around feels all right, but <laughs> when I actually need to, like, get close to the ball, it's very difficult. Come on, baby. I gotta get warmed up. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. It's just, it's not, like, react, it doesn't, it doesn't react quick. If I score a goal, guys, I will be thoroughly impressed. <laughs> This is so bad. This is the worst thing I've ever done. Oh my gosh. Okay, here. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. I can't jump, so I'm like literally useless. <gasps> here we go, here's my chance. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so difficult. Come on, baby, come on. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is so frustrating. This is like the most difficult thing I've ever done. Guys, you think it's possible I could score another goal? I mean, I scored one just because apparently I, I can boost faster than this guy. He knows at this point that I'm very bad. Oh, I just mind gamed the crap out of him. What? Okay, my lack of skills uh, is like actually confusing him. Ah! I'm about to break this, break this joystick. This is, <laughs> this is just, this just feels wrong. I'm not gonna lie. What do you guys think? You think the joystick would be harder for you? The joystick is definitely hard for me. This is the easiest game of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't do this anymore, guys. I can't. This is this is too toxic for me. I'm. I'm done. Okay, so a lot of you guys probably don't even know what kind of controller I use. So I figured this would be a good time to show. So I use a generic 20, like $22 knockoff Xbox controller. So 
So there it is. It's uh, PDP is the brand. This is not sponsored by PDP, but I love, love, love this controller so much. It's light, it's stiff, <laughs> which you think wouldn't be good, but like it's just, it's a tight, stiff little controller. <laughs> And I love it so much. Now, again, this is not sponsored, I promise you guys. I'm just, I'm helping you out. For those of you guys who don't have a lot of money rolling around, you play a ton of Rocket League and you burn through controllers like, like you're, you know, burning through things. This is a great option because at GameStop, you can have a uh, warranty that's like $5. And so basically what I do is I burn through a con this controller like every few months. I go to GameStop. Sometimes it only costs me like a dollar. I've actually had them give me money back for some reason. I don't really know why. But you renew that warranty and get another controller. And I've went through like 30 controllers at GameStop or something like that. Maybe not that many. Maybe like 20. Check it out, guys. You may you may not like it if you're used to like high quality controllers. Uh, but I love it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you hope you guys enjoyed checking out these weird controllers. Um, even this would qualify as a weird controller for most of you guys. But yeah, give it a try. Let us know which one you think would be the most difficult and if you've ever tried using a random sort of non-standard controller for Rocket League. All right, guys, hope you also enjoyed the hand reveal. Big old handshake for Spuda. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.